It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Uh, here's here's an interesting one. This one's from uh, from Ben uh, Benjamin. He said, "Hey Brian and Bo, uh, where does helping family members fall in the foo? Uh, where do you balance taking care of yourself versus others?" I want to expand on this question for you a little bit, Brian. Uh, let's assume Benjamin's talking about like kids and saving for college. Let's answer that one first. But then, are there any specific thoughts you have around? helping family members or helping others and how you should approach that from a financial well-being sort of standpoint. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll take um, closest. I mean, I, I have two thoughts on this. Mm-hmm. First of all, when, you're, when you go through, especially the course, because we go deep dive on a lot of different things in the Financial Order of Operations course, I have a whole section called Ground Rules. Mm-hmm. And, you know, ground rules is those things that outside the nine steps, it's just you're going to do this stuff in the beginning. And one of the first is I want you to be generous. I want you to be charitable. So if you're talking about, you know, helping family members and other things, we're not trying to create a whole army of misers. Mm -hmm. I want you to be a generous person. I want you to live an abundant life. But I don't. I want you to also be smart so that you create the best version of yourself financially. Because I think you do much more good if you're successful. I mean, mm-hmm. this is something I've always expressed to people: is that the best version of your financial self is going to allow you to create even more success and more giving, more loving on your family if you can be on very stable ground. And that's why when we do shows, and I, know, I think this is what you were alluding to, Bo, when you when you were giving me the question is when we're doing the actual nine steps, helping your children like save for college and other things, that's step number eight. Mm -hmm. And and the reason that it's so, you know, eight step eight, step eight out of nine steps, you're like, wow, that's way down there. It really is that whole financial analogy of you're going to put the oxygen mask on your face before you put it on the kids because if, if this thing goes down, they're not going to be able to fend for themselves, mm-hmm. so you better make sure you're on healthy, stable ground. Because remember, especially especially like on kids, there's no retirement loans, but there are student loans, exactly and right. that's a, there's a whole industry for your children to be able to fund education. There's not necessarily for you to have a stable retirement. And I think it's that same way with with family members with that's, co-signing. Yep, exactly when you think right. about co- co-signing loans. Mm-hmm. That's a scary thing because if you're going to co-sign, I'd much rather you be in a financial position where you're just going to essentially loan them the money, but the loan is actually a gift. Yep. You don't tell them it's a gift, but it's a gift. In your mind, you've mentally written that money off so that when they disappoint you, that you didn't hurt them. And then you also, I want to encourage you, go read The Millionaire Next Door and, and read about economic outpatient care mm-hmm. um, because I think sometimes I want to make sure when you give money to family members – and loved ones, it's done in a healthy way. That's so right. you're also not enabling bad habits or bad things that are going on. I want you to be generous, but I want you to do it in a very efficient way so that everybody's maximizing the power of the money. Yeah, it's that's such a difficult thing. And I, I love the way that you said that, Brian. You ought to be generous, uh, but you also ought to be discerning uh, while at the same time not being judgmental. And it's a really hard thing to do. And it's hard to do it well, especially you know for all the financial mutants out there. As you have more success, I think it becomes even more difficult to figure out how to draw those lines. But I think the fact that you're asking that question is a great sign that you're thinking about it in a positive way.